Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick tutorial here. Uh, this is MadLad for from Realm 558. Just a quick tutorial on how to kill higher level monsters in War and Order. I had some people asking me. Uh, one second, I'll turn the music off. Um, had some people asking me uh, how how I kill higher level monsters. Of course, now I'm, I'm a bit of a spender. Uh, whatever. I, it's easier. It's kind of easy for me to kill high level monsters. But when I was lower level, I didn't really spend that much. I just kind of went with the flow. Uh, I could still kill pretty high level monsters because of a few tactics. Uh, let's see, I'm going to show you one here. Um, I'm not going to kill the monster, I'm just going to show you how much progress I make toward killing it. So let's hit a 24 here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send a standard, about, you know, an average march size. 60,000, you know, six, castle level 16s. So I'm not going to send anything else, just the archers and mages. I have so uh here let's see what happens one second failed of course just test so boom attacks the archers attacks the mages and we're done here so oops forgot to check here one second I'm just going to let you guys know. I believe you brought it down to 80%. So it was. Yeah, 80% HP left for the monster. So, what I'm going to do this time around, I'm going to send exact same march. Um, 60,000 T6. And I'm going to add one of each troop. And uh, I just wanted to clarify that some people say why you add... The reason you add one of each troop is for the boosts. Um, that's not true at all. That's that's a bunch of, bunch of bullshit. Um, you add one of each tier. The reason... I'm going to uh, show you guys in a bit why we add one of each troop. But anyhow, one of each tier. Just the odd tier and a low, uh, an even tier. One of each. You don't have to... Uh, if you add T2, you don't have to add T4. Or if you add T1, you don't have to add T5. And then one angel. That's it. Same march, as you can see, 60,000 troops. So let's see what happens this time. We're gonna speed it up real quick. So, failed, of course. You're just gonna see the progress I made. So, as you can see, as it's hitting one by one, all these uh, single troops, the back line is, you know. Putting some, putting some damage on him. As you see, last time he got to 80%, now it's already 75. And 70. Should be somewhere in the 50s. And down to 55, I see. 55, yeah, so 55 versus 80%. So it did more than double the damage this time around just because I added nine troops, nine one sing you know, singular troops, you know. It just slows down the monsters, gives uh, your troops more time to hit it. So, yep, just wanted to clarify that, of course. Uh, I, I see many videos saying that, uh, that, that each troop, add one of each troop for the boost. That's not true one bit. Let's see, the T6 um, cavalry raises attack when you're attacking side by 20%. That's just for the cavalry. So if you sent, uh, you know, all cavalry, of course, that would help, you know. But cavalry suck toward attacking people, so I wouldn't even recommend sending any. Maybe one, just to slow them down. So, yep. Just to clarify that, I see uh, many, many videos saying that, oh yeah, I had one troop for the boost, yeah, 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 whatever, yeah, that's not true at all. Um, just a quick recommendation, I would highly recommend um, going down the development tree, activating all these all these skills, all the way down to stamina recovery one, monster attack speed one, and stamina recovery. So, the reason, and then keep going down, if you have points, of course, to get all the way down to down to monster attack speed 2 and to activate them 100% you need lord level 24 and of course you need some for to activate these things the recall all you need that for war and order so must um so 
Lord level 24. Um, of course, not everybody can get there quick, so try your best to get there. Duly. The reason I recommend doing monsters, monsters are very important in this game. Each monster I kill get average, it's not average actually, on the high end. You, for the lower guys, I'd say you get 700 per piece or so per monster. I get 1000 because I'm killing higher monsters. Bit of a spender, I have more troops, higher level troops that kill higher level monsters. So, uh, each monster I kill get a thousand Lord XP. So, per day I count it up with, with the hero skill tree activated for monsters. I get on average, I'm gonna make it simple every 24 hours I can kill about 50 monsters. So, I get 50,000 Lord XP per day and I get 72,000 resources, counting wood or, wood or wood or food, I mean, um, so 72,000 per hit, 10 hits, 720,000, sorry, just doing some math here, um, that's 3.6 million resources per day just from hitting monsters, and then on top of that I send my troops out together, uh, yeah, that's, that's a huge boost, Lord XP, resources and it gives you a lot of materials so i highly recommend that um and uh yeah i think that's just sums it up uh thank you for watching if you guys can uh, leave any comments down below for any more good words of advice you know how can i make my uh, youtube videos better uh, that's my first youtube video i ever made so uh sorry this is such a crappy video anyways yeah thanks for watching